What is up, you guys? It's your host, Galadon. Thank you so much for stopping by. Galadon Gaming, more Class Royale action. Some level 13 replays to show you with my new favorite deck. And I have to tell you, this is my favorite deck of all time. I love this deck. I love the success that I'm having with it. And uh, it's just been a lot of fun. I've hit my personal trophy vest. I've been winning a lot of challenges with it. And it's just, it's generally a fun deck to play. Uh, you know, I was talking in a recent video about how it's mostly a chip deck, but every now and then I get these big pushes where I can take an entire tower down in one fell swoop. So we're going to take a look at that, but I also wanted to touch on the video I made the other day that had such a strong reaction from so many people. It was the video, if you missed it, called Kicked, and I will try to link it up here so you can see it again, and you can take a look and love it or hate it like everybody else seems to. I've gotten some support, and you know what's funny? I've gotten most of the support, the positive support for this, in my live stream and from my clan. And I thought, you know, after I saw how many dislikes it had on it compared to a normal video, I thought, you know, maybe I better sit down and apologize. Uh, but you know what? No. The more I thought about this, the more I really thought that here's a couple of things, and maybe this puts me in a slightly unique situation, but... I feel like my clan represents me, and I am shooting for a positive gaming experience for everybody. Uh, I am a positive person, and I want people to think of Full Attack as a cool place to come and visit or join if you want to find a friendly but competitive clan. And so my clan members and myself, whether we like it or not, we are in the unique position, not completely unique, obviously, but we are in the position of being ambassadors of the game. And bad manners, it, it affects some people, other people don't care. Uh, I've kind of wavered, I will admit, back and forth about it. I, I think that it's okay sometimes, other times it really ticks me off. And maybe the fact that it was bad manners combined with an expo that just made it really grinding my gears. And you know what? I'm entitled to my opinion and I'm going to stand behind what I said. And uh, that's just the way it is. Uh, I don't want to see members of my clan intentionally trying to anger other players, and especially the, the worst possible one, and I can't say that I've had a clan member do this that's still in the clan, is to beat another player and then go join their clan and gloat about it. Now, that happens to me every now and then. It happened to me the other day. Somebody came in and uh, joined the clan. First question was, is Galadon here? And somebody said, uh, no, he's not here right now or something like that. Next thing you know, he shares the replay of him beating me laughs and leaves. <laughs> and what, whatever, that's like the ultimate BM, but that's okay. I, I understand. And hey, I don't take things personally. So anyway, so just going back on that video, you can disagree on whether or not taunts are part of the game. And really, if there's no such thing as bad manners to you, that's fine. Personally, I am against the Royale team's decision to make it so that when you mute the taunts, you, ca you cannot mute them completely. I feel like you should be able to mute them completely. Like I said when this first came out, when you see that your opponent is saying something, when, when the opponent is muted, I, I don't know about you guys, but I've tried it. I, it just comes to mind. He might not be completely BMing you, but it, in my mind, he's saying the worst possible choice of, of taunts at that moment. So it actually makes it worse for me to mute somebody. So I'm waiting for them to change it so that you have it muted and you can't see that the person is saying anything. And it was like that with the game Smashland. Those of you that are familiar with that game, uh, Supercell killed it pretty quickly, but in that game, you were able to mute the taunts completely. Uh, also in that game, something I would like to see added to this game, you had more taunts. Uh, you had the ability to buy with soft currency, I believe, like gold. You could buy more taunts and you could bring a variety of taunts to your battle, kind of like uh, you bring cards to the battle. And uh, I'm still hoping that that gets added to the game. So anyway, off the soapbox, enough of that. Like I said, I want to stay positive, and I am still having a lot of fun playing this game and playing this deck. Now, seeing guys dropping Elixir Collectors, I'm a little surprised to see this continue, that there's so many people still using the pumps. I feel like it's not super effective, and as long as you can get some damage to it, I mean, even a Zap spell is going to prevent your opponent from getting that over on you. Now, this guy right here, I will have to say, the use of the Expo in the Mortar, I do find more aggravating. 
but I would probably put use of rockets to damage towers as the primary means of damage up uh, higher on my list of things I hate than even use of the Royal Giant. Not a fan of the Royal Giant, but right now I have to say number one, Expo. Number two, Mortar. Number three, Rockets. And number four, the Royal Giant. And number five, probably uh, the Miner. And I use it, so there you go. But like I said, all's fair in love and war. Oh, okay, so I keep on hitting this guy's Elixir Collector with a Fireball. He keeps on... Why do I feel like this is just a replay of this last 30 seconds? Same thing going back and forth, but here comes a Skeleton Army. Skarmy, go, Skarmy, go, get in there. Come on, you guys. Not getting a lot of damage, but the uh, guards get in there as well. And a few hundred off the tower. Again, just looking at chip damage. The Mega Minion moving in. Super dangerous, but the Furnace is such a great counter. For the Mega Minion, jumping a couple of those Fire Spirits up allows the tower to finish the Mega Minion off. Now, I did put that Furnace in there despite the fact that I knew he was going to hit me with a rocket. But at that point, I'm pretty far ahead. And sure enough, 58 hit points remaining. Here comes the Log doing it, clutching the tower, taking it down. Time is going to run out and another 13 versus 13 victory. So, um, again, having fun. I've been using this deck both in challenges and in the ladder play, and it seems to be working out pretty well. Now, the only thing that is hurting me in ladder play right now is I kind of have, as far as top players go, an underleveled log. Uh, my log cannot one-shot my opponent's princesses, and that is not working out so well for me. Now, this guy right here has the classic bait deck. Check out all of the stuff that he has that is meant to come after you and lure out or bait out your splash damage, your zap, your arrows, your fireball, your wizard. You can see here comes another, a mirrored goblin barrel, but luckily I've got the zap spell, I've got the fireball, I've got the skeleton army if I need to use it, and I also have the log, which is a great counter as long as you don't miscalculate as to where that barrel is going. And that is probably the one piece of advice I would give. I've played Salaka quite a few times from the clan Helsinki. Uh, good guy, we always have good battles. Here comes the three Musketeers. Wished I could have dropped the Fireball and Zap combo on all three of them. But we will log two of them down. And now we have to deal with this group on the left-hand side. Furnace trying to get in there to slow things down. And then the Skeleton Army. Gosh, I love the Skeleton Army right now. At three Elixir, it is just so powerful. Now that right there, Zap Spell, not sure if it was wise. Uh, doesn't really do much for me. One of the Fire Spirits going to get in. Here comes... The Goblin Barrel, now he saw my Zap, so he dropped the Goblin Barrel. Luckily, I have the Guards, and you can see they did get some damage in there, but the Guards did a good job of clearing it out. Now they can move forward. Another Goblin Barrel, this time I'm ready with the Log and the Fireball. Why I chose the Fireball instead of the Log, I may never know. But the Guards distract the Tower long enough to get both Fire Spirits in, and that pretty much means that we've got this victory in hand. Just a matter of trying to hold him off for another minute or so. Fire Spirits get the job done, and we're just going to protect the tower on the left-hand side that's down about a thousand hit points. There are the three Musketeers, early damage on them. The Fire Spirits from the Furnace, again, doing a great job. The log down the right-hand side just ensures that that right Musketeer doesn't get a single shot off on my tower. And now we're under a minute left, plenty of Elixir, don't need to use the Miner to push, we're just going to focus on defending. That works out pretty well, here comes the Goblin Barrel also. Zapping it right out of the way, throwing up another furnace. And here comes another mirrored goblin barrel. Good game. We know this one is pretty much over. Fireball overkill on those guys as well. 30 seconds remaining. Three musketeers. Again, love to drop that fireball zap on the three musketeers, but we should be able to handle them with everything else. Arrows get all of those guys down. But again, it's just a matter of stalling this group on the left just for a few more seconds, wiping them out. Good splash damage. Again, this deck is just so strong with splash damage. Another Goblin Barrel, and this time, I do use the log. There you go. You can see the log perfectly works out. And yet another Goblin Barrel throwing the last minute fireball. Time runs out, and it's a good 1-0 victory for my favorite deck of all times. So hey, thank you guys again for listening. Thank you for stopping by, for being a hashtag Galifam member. And hey, you know what? People differ on their opinions in everything. I respect your opinion. I hope that you respect mine on the bad manners and the ambassador thing. And I hope that you come back again tomorrow for more Full Attacks.
really don't. Opinions are like butts. Everyone has one and they all stink. <laughs>